We do want to bring in <laughs> to the conversation Maria Teresa Kumar, uh, president and CEO of Photo Latino and an MSNBC contributor and a friend of ours. And uh, Maria, we wanted to have you on to talk about, as Rachel and I keep mentioning, oh, by the way, nine days from now, we are living under the specter of shutdown number two. And of course, the issue here is immigration. Uh, some want true, uh, deep rooted immigration reform. Uh, some just want to get over the DACA hump. Is there a deal out there that is agreeable in your mind? I think the way for the Republicans and the Democrats to be able to move forward is to have a clean DACA bill, because right now the president's proposal basically wants to slash immigration, migration to the United States back to 1920 levels. That's kind of an on-starter for Republicans and Democrats. And I'm thinking from the Republican perspective, a lot of businesses who rely on constant immigration reform, to uh, an influx of immigrants. On the Democratic side, I think they have more flexibility. He's basically requesting $28 billion for the wall. Technically, they can give that to him recognizing that they have to reauthorize it every single uh, every single uh, congressional uh, every two years so that's a possibility so he so he gets it it's a win for his base but do they actually end up having to pay for it that's another question so there's a leeway I think the more dangerous part though is the way that this toxic environment has come about when it comes to the uh, having conversations about immigrants there is a constant push and pull. We're really fighting for who we are as Americans right now. Sadly, if you look at the Southern Poverty Law Center, there's been an increase in hate crimes, disproportionate bullying happening in local schools, and it's been on track ever since the president basically started his campaign two years ago. So when we're talking about the immigra immigration issue, it's not just policy. Technically, if they wanted to vote, Speaker Ryan literally has two pieces of legislation that Republicans and Democrats would be willing to vote for, but he controls the calendar. He's decided not to put it forward. I think more, though, it's the toxicity of the actual who are we as Americans, what does it mean to be an immigrant, and how do we make sure that that is put aside so that we can actually talk about the meat and potatoes of providing relief for 800,000 young people. Important issue to uh, uh, include in our conversation tonight. Maria Teresa Kumar, as always, uh, thank, thank you, you uh, for being a part of this conversation. Sure. I think Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.